Today I'm going to show you how it's called burping the radiator or the cooling system. Uh, you have to do this anytime that you, let's say, like you switch the thermostat or you do an engine swap or you just drain all the fluid out of your, all the radiator fluid out of your car. Basically, how you do it is take off the radiator cap and then tilt the vehicle so it's up on up on jack stands or you can just park on like an incline or something like that because basically what happens is that when you fill the radiator up when you put the radiator fluid in here and in the reservoir the radiator fluid gets down inside the engine but it doesn't get inside of these pipes right here inside of these tubes so burping the system or getting all the air bubbles out um, having it up at an incline helps that the air flow flow to the front. So I'm going to turn the car on and then I have to just kind of squeeze the tubes like that to get the air out all the way into the into the radiator and up outside of this up outside of the cap. So that's what we're going to do today. So you're doing this make sure you keep an eye on your fuel your heat levels and stuff. Just to make sure you're not overheating. We're just basically just waiting for it to warm up right now because the thermostat opens up at 180 degrees on my car. So once the car hits 180, it'll open up allowing the coolant to go inside those tubes. The air bubbles kind of working their way up to the top there. I've just been pouring some in, that's why it's all kind of bubbly and milky. But see how it's bubbling up and down like that? That's the air bubbles coming out. All right, that's it. I was able to put about another four quarts of uh, coolant in um, because of that. So, yeah, so if your car's overheating and uh, you've recently done a thermostat change or um, you think it could be an air bubble, you know, that'll save you a lot of money just by tipping it up and then uh, making sure all the air bubbles get out of it.